Jason Rosidlo reporting inside the GM Renaissance Center for the 2010 Business of Plugging In Conference, being joined by Owen Resch, Director of Marketing for Acrewade Power Technologies. Okay. I understand this is sort of like the charger uh, for the future for the electric vehicles? Yes, this is the first network DC fast charge station. This unit is capable of charging a Nissan LEAF in under 30 minutes, and uh, it uses a 480 volt uh, commercial grade uh, power electronic set inside. It's hardcore. Now you said it's going to be for the LEAF. Is it ever going to be available for the Volt or some of the other electric cars? Well, it depends. You first have to have a battery electric vehicle that can accommodate a, um, a DC fast charge. With something like a Volt, which is more like a hybrid, you probably would never have that. It only it works best for battery le electric vehicles like the Nissan LEAF or the Mitsubishi iMeaf. Now, how long would it take to charge, for example, the LEAF with this system? Um, if you had a pretty much a dead battery in your leaf, it would take 30 minutes to go up to um, a full charge, but you don't have to. What you can do is you can pull in for a few minutes, you know, maybe one or two, get about 10 miles of range in your battery and just go home and charge there. So there's no reason to think that you'd ever have to stand around for 30 minutes looking for something to do while you're recharging your car. It really does make recharging an EV as convenient as with petrol or gasoline. I see there's a spot to wave your credit card there. How, yeah. no, how much well, that's, is... That's what, makes, that's what makes this unique. This is the first networked DC fast charger. So if you were on a network, like Coulomb's ChargePoint network, you'd have a, a pass like this or a credit card. You'd swipe it here. Or you'd swipe it right here. Authorizing. There you go. Just like any kind of credit card. And then uh, you'd, plug the, you'd plug your car in. You'd get to see how, what your available voltage is your battery state of charge, the amperage that you can draw. I mean, it's kind of like, this is kind of like, if I were a muscle car guy, this would be like my tack and my, all those gauges that tell me just how powerful the thing is. And then what makes this the most unique, what makes this different than gasoline, is that it shows you exactly how much time you have left until your charge is complete. And of course, you can stop it anytime you want. It shows you what your state of charge is. Now, say I just got my 10 minutes of, of juice and I can go home. I just hit press to stop. I would disconnect, replace the connector, and from uh, charge point, I get my uh, my uh, charge point, uh, the charge record, my receipt in on, in an email, and I go home. Now, who would de determine the cost to use this? Uh, that would, if you belong to a network like charge point, it would be a, say a monthly fee, and you could charge all you want. I think that's the model that they're using. And you know what? When we're done, I'll introduce you to Ed Taylor, the marketing director of Coulomb, and he can answer your questions on the network. Okay, so. Now, is this something you'd find like at a gas station or a hotel or a, some place like that? Yeah, this is designed for uh, places where a person might be staying a little bit longer, but it's also designed for a gas station. When we thought about the design for this, you, you see it looks kind of like a gas pump. You know, some people said, hey, you know, it's an EV charger, it shouldn't look like that. We said, no, there is 100 years of learning how to make people happy with a gas pump, and we've, we've decided to leverage that into the design. The fact that you can see over it and through it, the fact that it's relatively small, this is uh, at the at the right point to meet um, American with disability legislation requirements. It all it all matches um, what we know works today in the field, and that we think is really important to create acceptance of electric vehicles. Now, what what is the cost of this whole entire unit? Would somebody actually be able to buy one for their house, or that's way over the? No, you won't be able to buy one of these for your house. These are strictly commercial. The level one, the 120, and the 240; those are residential. This one would only be for a, you know, like a, imagine a Costco. Imagine a Best Buy or you know a gas station, something like that. Uh, we haven't announced pricing yet. I think we're going to end up doing that tomorrow, so I'll have to get back to you on that one. All right. All right. Uh, where are some of the places where these are available right now? Uh, right now in the U.S., I think there is only one installed fast charge station, but we are installing the first one of these at Magna's eCar Systems uh, Electric Car Headquarters in Rochester, Michigan. That'll happen in the next month, month and a half, and that will be the first one that's available for people on a network to use and for Magnus customers to enjoy. Any other comments since we're still here? Um, our two companies coming together, Coulomb and Acreweight, it's like when chocolate and peanut butter came together. You know, when those two things came together, you got the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, and that's what we have. We have expertise. Coulomb brings expertise in level one, level two in the network, and we bring, the, uh, and we bring expertise in DC fast charging. In fact, we have, right now we have over 10,000 DC fast chargers operating in the world, powering industrial forklift fleets, and the, the conditions under which those operate are far more extreme than this will ever see. And it's given us the ability to offer this unit with a Sigma 5 quality rating, and for anyone who you know, knows what the Sigma 5 quality rating is, it's a step away from perfection.
and we're ready to offer this right now to people who are really committed to seeing EVs succeed in our generation. Well, we provide the ChargePoint network. It's a complete charging infrastructure that fuels electric vehicles uh, worldwide. Uh, Acre Wade, uh, the supplier of the fast DC charging, charging technology, they're part of the network. And the kinds of things that our network does is it provides services for drivers and for station owners. So the kinds of things that we do for drivers is that every charging station is a point on our network. Uh, so from any internet location or from a mobile device like an iPhone or a Blackberry, uh, you can, if you're an EV driver, find charging stations wherever you are. Uh, this map right here represents the charging stations we have on our network in North America that are over 200 stations that are publicly available today. And not only can you see where the stations are, uh, but you can also notice that some of these stations are blue. And those stations that are blue, they're, they're being used right now. Yeah. Now, what are the ones in Michigan? Uh, what are the ones in Michigan? Uh, there are a number of different charging stations. Let's go in and zoom in Michigan. So as you can see, there are a lot of charging stations that are in Michigan. If you wanted to learn a little bit more about which one, for example, we have one uh, close to Lansing. Uh, that one happens to be located at DTE Energy. And you'll also notice that it's uh, a charging station that provides charging for both level one and level two. It's a two-port charging station. Uh, that charging station ha happens to be available. We got one in uh, Ann Arbor, Michigan, too. Do we have one in Ann Arbor? Yes, we do. It's another DTE charging station that they put in. I talked to the gentleman earlier about the fast charging. Is that already in this system? Yeah, so um, uh, at the end of the year, uh, Magna will be one of the first customers for this fast DC charging station, and that will be network enabled. So it will be just another point that you see here on the map. Not on there right now, correct? Uh, actually, it is right there uh, right now. Let me zoom in and we'll take a look at it. In fact, uh, why don't we just uh, locate it on the iPhone? So you notice here that uh, it shows the uh, fast charging DC charging station here in Detroit. Okay. And if you want to, I can show you that uh, with an iPhone app or with your BlackBerry, you can actually start a charging session remotely. You've probably already seen that there are a number of ways you can access these charging stations. You can access them using a, a, a card like this. This is a ChargePass card. Uh, it's very easy to get. Uh, you just go to coolomtech.com, and it's a small fee to set one up. And these charging cards allow you to access both charging stations that are offered for free or for a fee. It's really up to the station owner to decide. Um, when you sign up for an account like that, you can also activate an iPhone app to do just the same thing. Um, and by knowing uh, that it's your card, you can actually, for example, if you're in a uh, in your uh, pull up to this with uh, your Chevy Volt, it's a rainy day, you want to start the charging session before you get out um, of your vehicle, you can do that right from your iPhone app. And what we're doing over the network is we're communicating over uh, the network, talking to the session remotely. And um, what you'll see here is we're now starting a charging session. Oh, very cool. You can do that all from uh, your phone then? You can do that all from your phone. You can also do it from inside the car with the uh, navigation system there? Yeah, absolutely. So what the technology supports is we have an open infrastructure. Uh, so we have an open API that Companies like uh, Navtech or TomTom or um, OnStar, uh, they can reach in from their applications, tie into the network, and write down in the navigation units, show, show you where charging stations are, but not just where they are, whether they're in use or not.